Well, hey there. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, the, the unashamed nonconformist. Welcome to Tuesday. It's going to be a terrific Tuesday for me. I hope it will be for you as well. You know what you have to do to make it a terrific Tuesday? Decide that it's going to be a terrific Tuesday. You guys have an opportunity today to, uh, to unseat Joe. Nobody has checked in there and uh, kind of knocked him off of his first degree. So you still have a chance to do that if you are listening on your favorite podcast catcher. That'd be iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, any of those guys. Head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com, 7minutesinthemorning.com. Get you to the right place to watch the Facebook Live and comment and join the community. And if you're watching on YouTube, that means you're watching the replay you also could be watching the replay on Facebook. Go ahead and leave your comment there. Whether it's live or on the replay, doesn't matter. Still love to hear from you. This morning, we're talking about this idea. Um, I'm not really sure where it came from. It, I don't have it here close to me. Every morning, I spend a little time writing in my journal. And yesterday, I just jotted this note in the margin. Busy is not winning. That's the title of today's installment. Busy is not winning. Well, what does that mean? Well, we've all, you know, I, I had the opportunity to work with a business owner at one time. We'll call him John. And John was really struggling. I mean, he was, there is no doubt that he was working really hard trying to make the business a success. The problem was he was working really hard at the wrong things. And no matter how much me and, and other people um, tried to say, look, these things that you're doing, you're paying people that can do that. You need to focus on the things that will really move the needle, right? That, that will turn the dial, so to speak. And just could not get his head wrapped around that. And ultimately the business had to fold. We get this, we, we get into this mode where we're really busy. And we use busy as a measure of success or a measure of whether we're winning or not. The reality is it's a terrible measure. And I mean, if you need proof, just simple, you know, think about the hamster. The hamster's really busy and he's working really hard, just like John was working really hard. But he didn't really have a goal in mind. You know, winning... And I, I worked with this CEO for a while. Had he asked the best question maybe ever in, in one of the staff meetings and nobody had an answer for it. And I thought that was pretty telling in terms of the company's success, his success and what everybody else thought they were supposed to be doing. His question was, are we winning? In order to answer that question, you necessarily have to know what the desired outcome is. But nobody could answer that question. Think about that for just a minute. I mean, this was a big company. It's a multi-billion dollar company. Nobody on that CEO staff could answer the question, are we winning? That just, I, it, it, at the time it blew my mind. And now as I'm telling you that story, it just, it does it all over again. How can you not know if you're winning? All right. But it's really simple to know if you are winning. Let's get back on the good track here. <laughs> you have to know the outcome you're trying to create. You have to have uh, milestones that measure your progress toward that. You're winning simply is ticking off those milestones as you go had a fantastic conversation yesterday with the leaders of a company, and we had this very conversation. And look, it's not just important for you. Here's the really important thing I was sharing yesterday. <clears throat> it's not just for you. Yeah, you need to know where you're going and the outcome you're trying to create, but if you're running a business, your team needs to know that too. And not just know that, I mean know that. Believe it. Know it in, not just know it up here, but know it in here. Right? Because if they know, I mean, look, 
I kind of default back to some of these sports and military analogies for this, but we have, there have been whole wars um, prosecuted by armies armed with just sticks and rocks, but they knew what they were trying to achieve, and they knew whether they were winning or not. I'm just saying, if you don't know what you're trying to achieve, you can't be winning. You're only going to be busy. And if you look at your day, and you, I mean, right now, as you're listening to this, think about yesterday. Were you busy or were you winning? If you don't know, if you're not sure, if you can't say, oh, man, absolutely, I was winning yesterday. If, if, if you can't say that, you were probably just busy. And busy and not getting you where you need to be. Catherine has unseated Joe this morning as the uh, the great welcomer. <laughs> There's a title for you, the great welcomer. Good morning to you, Catherine. Sometimes you feel like you've gotten so far behind that you aren't sure if you're last or first. Well, you can be the first one on this lap. <laughs> Look, here's the really cool part about that statement. I, I, mean, I understand. I get it. Sometimes, you know, a one degree deviation, if you're flying or sailing, a one degree deviation, um, can, can put you hundreds of miles off course at some point, right? So let's say, you know, you're trying to go here at one degree deviation is going to put you way off course, right? But you don't have to go all the way back here to get here, right? You just have to turn left, right? So, Hope that visual worked. If you feel like you're behind, that's okay. Set new milestones. That's all. And and look, honestly, what a lot of us do, you see that these stickies back here on the whiteboard, the rule for the stickies on the whiteboard is that it's one day's worth of effort. If something's going to take me a week, there's five stickies. And, and the reason for that is because I know, I know myself, I know that I'll put one sticky up there to be efficient and save stickies. I'll put one sticky up there that represents a whole week's worth of work. And I'll stand there and look at that and be like, wow, that's a lot. I was, okay, let me do this other stuff, then I'll come back to that. It forces me to break the bigger task down into smaller tasks that are not as uh, intimidating that I can pick off of there and get one done in a day. But, you know, that's not unique to me. Everybody runs into the same problem. They start talking about the elephant and they forget to take the first bite. Okay, so Catherine says, I love that. It doesn't matter where you are. You can always be first, even if it's just on the lap. That's right. Yeah, because it's not about comparing yourself to others. We talked about that all week last week, right? That's why golf is such a great game. Yeah, you score yourself against other people, but you're competing against yourself. Stickies, yes. Bite-sized pieces of the big dream. I like that, too. Good morning, Abby. Thank you for being here as well. All right, so if you're busy, if you're only busy, you're not winning. You have to be sure. You have to be clear whether you're winning or whether you're just busy. If you're just busy... That ain't a happening place to be. That's going to be it for today. Wow, because I've got to hurry up and get over to the radio place to do that other show. You guys should listen to that, too, WTKIRadio.com or TalkRadioForEntrepreneurs.com. Either one will equip you with the tools to listen to the radio show. Uh, that's coming up at 8 o'clock, so 50 minutes or so. And then tomorrow, be back here with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Hey, look, I got it in under 10 minutes today. You guys have a terrific Tuesday. I'll talk to you tomorrow.